Now, Ghana and Germany have entered into a 100 million euro bilateral investment and reform partnership agreement to aid in investments, renewable energy, and vocational training or vocational training. Uh, President Ecuador is part of reform-minded African countries, international organizations, and bilateral partners from G20 and beyond to coordinate country-specific reform agendas, uh, support respective policy measures, and advertise investment opportunities to private investors. My colleague, Mamavi Ousua Bwaji, has been speaking with political correspondent Thomas Sparrow with our partners, the DW, on how that investment conference is shaping up in Germany. We're talking here about this conference called Compact with Africa. Compact with Africa was one of the key projects when Germany in 2017 presided over the G20. You may remember the G20 summit in Hamburg. And it was there that Germany also focused on Africa uh, as a continent with enormous possibilities, also a few challenges that have to be dealt with, but as a continent with which Germany and other uh, leading uh, European countries would like to work more closely with. So Compact with Africa, this project, is one that has been developing in the last uh, few months uh, since the German G20 presidency. And one of the countries, as you say, is, is Ghana. Ghana is one of the countries that has been part of these compact uh, with Africa. There are 12 countries involved and the meeting, the conference that uh, started yesterday right here in Berlin, in fact not far away from where we are talking, was precisely designed and organized in order to analyze how much advancement there have been, how much progress there has been between Germany and the respective countries on a bilateral way, but also between Germany and the whole countries as part of this G20 compact with Africa. Uh, Angela Merkel inaugurated the uh, conference by uh, stressing that they want to work with Africa on equal footing. So not only talk about Africa, but work with specific African uh, countries. The African countries that are part of this compact with Africa will have to carry on, carry out certain reforms, certain specific reforms. And once those reforms are achieved, then they will, in a way, unlock funds in that specific sector. Uh, basically meaning that the compact with Africa is destined to promote uh, private investment, for example, in infrastructure and help those countries to improve the conditions for their own citizens, for example, creating jobs. So that's one of the key elements here of this Compact for Africa summit that started yesterday here in Berlin. It was described as the biggest conference on German soil that has to do with Africa between Germany and African leaders. There are two concrete elements, I think, behind this German decision. On the one hand, you may know that Germany is an exporting nation, so they're obviously interested in having new markets around the world, and they see in Africa, and specific con countries in Africa, enormous possibilities for German comp companies. There's no doubt about that. That's one of the key elements here. Again, private investment, private investment, for example, in infrastructure. Then the second element behind this strategy has to do with one topic that we have discussed many, many times on our crosses here, namely migration. You may remember that many Africans decided to come to Europe as part of the migration crisis and also afterwards. And one of the key elements that Angela Merkel and, by the way, other European leaders have also stressed is the need to fight the root causes of migration. How do you fight the root causes of migration? By improving the situation at home. And that is one of the key elements here, by, for example, promoting private investment, by, for example, working hand in hand with these countries, by, for example, helping them with their specific reforms. The goal is to improve conditions in the uh, specific countries in Africa so that people do not have to flee, them, so they don't need to leave their countries in the first place, so they can find suitable conditions in their home countries. Now, you ask what Ghana uh, has to do with all this. Ghana is one of the 12 countries that has to do with this compact with Africa. In particular, the partnership with Ghana is focused on the energy sector. You mentioned that yourself, on increasing renewable energies. And as far as I know, Ghana, but it, I guess you will have to tell me more about that, is working on a law that, has, that could improve these conditions so the renewable energy sector can also be increased so that, that these partnerships can further develop. So the key goal here, and that's one of the reasons behind this uh, forum, uh, here is precisely to try and make sure that this goes beyond uh, the immediate political circumstances of, for example, Ghana or here in Germany or some of the other countries involved to make sure that this compact with Africa is a long-term yeah. process. And that's the reason why not only the African countries were involved, not only Germany as a European country is involved, but other institutions, other international organizations as well, which will have 
the task of making sure that these projects that are starting now, that have started since the G20 presidency of Germany, can continue over a longer stretch, can continue on the long term. Mm -hmm. This is, in my opinion, the key element of these projects, how to make sure that they develop over a long stretch, over a longer stretch of time, and they do not simply fade away when political circumstances change. It's good you bring this angle in, Thomas, uh, because we know the German Chancellor has uh, announced that she's not going to go after 2021. So is this her vision? Is this her speaking? Or this is a broader plan for Germany? Well, this is obviously one of Angela Merkel's key priorities. If you look at the coalition agreement that she signed with her Social Democrats earlier this year to form the government now, Africa has mentioned more than 20 times. So there's no doubt that Africa plays an important role internationally for Germany. It is one of Germany's foreign policy priorities. That's why Germany, for example, during the G20 presidency focused so much on Africa. But I do understand from your perspective and from other African perspectives as well, that they may ask, well, what will happen with all these projects once Angela Merkel leaves? It is correct what you say that Angela Merkel will not continue as her party's leader. That's something that she announced this week. She also said she will not uh, present, uh, she will not be again a candidate after 2021. She will stop her political career then. So obviously, the key question here is what will happen once Angela Merkel is no longer in power? And I think that one of her key goals is precisely to make this project last. That's why some of these organizations are invited here. That's why these African countries are invited here. The goal is to make this sustainable, even after Angela Merkel leaves the chancellery here in Berlin.